Barack just got his own holiday here as what everyone is now forced to do every August 4th. There are blue states and then there is a dedication to liberalism that requires a departure from common sense. The state of Illinois obviously falls in the last category, based on what they just passed in the state legislature. Obviously, we wouldn't expect them to do anything even remotely conservative, after all, we re talking about a state that houses the sanctuary of Chicago and their beloved law-breaking Mayor Rem Emanuel, but they've officially gone too far now. This step blue state seems to have not only reasoning problems but memory issues as well since they are attempting to celebrate Barack Obama as their greatest achievement. Not only have much greater people come from Illinois, I think the corn they raise ranks in national value over that 44th president that they turned out. If you can even give them credit for that, considering that he s not from Illinois originally at all. That s not keeping the state from doubling down in their love of our former president and giving him his own state holiday. Their love and affection is not only an atrocity in and of itself, but they re putting this disgrace of a president on par with the guy who already holds a holiday, Abraham Lincoln. You know, the guy who freed the slaves and mended the torn country. That guy and the community organizer who liked to sell weapons to our enemies, those two are about the same in the eyes of Illinoisans. Via Breitbart News The Illinois legislature just created a new state commemorative holiday to celebrate the birthday of favorite son Barack Obama. This week, Illinois Republican Governor Bruce Rauner signed a bill to honor the 44th President's August 4th birthday. It won to be a paid holiday for state employees, but Rauner signed the bill saying he hoped the recognition would bridges across communities, Fox News reported. Senate Bill 55 says the day will be observed throughout the state as a day set apart to honor the 44th President of the United States of America who began his career serving the people of Illinois in both the Illinois State Senate and the United States Senate, and dedicated his life to protecting the rights of Americans and building bridges across communities. There was absolutely no resistance to the bill, even from Republicans, in the state legislature in Springfield, Illinois. Several lawmakers abstained from voting to implement the new holiday, but none voted against it. Gov. Bronner, though, did oppose an earlier version of the bill that made Obama's birthday a paid holiday. In opposition to the idea of giving employees a paid day off, Bronner said, I don't think it should be a formal holiday with paid, forced time off, but I think it should be a day of acknowledgement and celebration. The state of Illinois has the worst budget and pension crisis in the nation and many of the state's vendors haven't been paid for years. Barack Obama took up permanent residence in Illinois in 1995 and lived there until he was elected to the U.S. Senate in 2004, after which he moved to Washington and rarely returned to the state that gave him his political start. He lived in Illinois for about 10 years full-time. Two other presidents made Illinois their home, Ronald Reagan and Abraham Lincoln. Unlike Barack Obama, who only used Illinois as a political stepping stone, Ronald Reagan was born in the state and spent the first 21 years of his life there. The deeply democratic state never made Ronald Reagan's birthday an official holiday, and this lapse is one reason some lawmakers balked at making Barack Obama's birthday a paid state holiday. Born in Kentucky, but spending most of his life in Illinois, a Lincoln's birthday has been a paid state holiday for many years. Where I come from, we call this going full retard. That's when you find something really stupid and they just keep leaning in. Forget that we re all still laughing at the fact that they have skyrocketing crime, and keep incentivizing the illegal immigrants, or that the president they rehanging their reputations on is one that turned out to possibly not be a legitimate president at all, they re making a holiday for a guy who's main accomplishment was to beef up government programs so that more able bodied Americans could be on the government dull. So the state of Illinois was home to two presidents before Barry squatted there for a few years. One who ended the Civil War and the other who ended the Cold War, but they re making a holiday to honor the great community organizer that sprang from their midst and was elected based on his race and the fact that his party could easily manipulate him.
Yeah, that seems about right for the Democrats. Share if you re ashamed of what Illinois is doing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.